In this video, I'm going to show how I shared internet from one building to another building that's far away. The scenario I have is that there are two houses, a main house with two story and a lake house. The main house has internet, but the lake house, because it's far away near the lake, it doesn't have internet. My friend wants the lake house to also have internet as well. so. The internet setup in the main house is a very common setup. The main house has internet through a modem and the modem is hooked up to a Wi-Fi router and there are different devices connected to the Wi-Fi router. Now the lake house also has a Wi-Fi router and different devices connect to this Wi-Fi router. However, there is no internet, there's no modem. What I did is I simply added a directional antenna and created a point to point bridge between both buildings, which linked the main house to the lake house and shares internet to the lake house. The host setup costs about a hundred dollars and it took roughly an hour to finish. The antenna I bought is a ubiquity network light beam, M5 directional antenna. So here is the setup of the light beam M5. Um, the uh, instructions is pretty decent on how you uh, assemble it together. Um, having that said, let's look, have a closer look. Underneath the antenna, that's where your Ethernet cable comes out of it. It will, if you follow the blue line, uh, it connects to PoE and then the yellow line then connects to your router. To set it up, we'll connect it to the PC first and uh, because inside this little directional antenna has uh, uh, its own Ethernet capability to set up different uh, settings. So we'll go over that in a second. Anyway, and I have a second one sitting right here. Same setup. Um, as you can see, a blue line comes out, Ethernet comes out, Cat5 goes into P PoE, and then the yellow line again goes to the, the router. Now, this one right here is for transmitting the internet, bridging it across. And this one is going to be receiving it. And here's my little uh, traveling router that's going to be used at the cabin so that's the hardware setup very simple very basic now let's look into the software so the first thing you want to do is go to ubnt.com and the url is ubnt.com slash airmax slash lightbeam dash m5 <clears throat> after you're at the website just scroll all the way to the bottom and you can see latest software you want to update the firmware to the latest firmware and I've downloaded this file onto the desktop. Just click on it and save it onto your desktop. Um, this is 2016 August. It has a lot more features than the current 2015 firmware on um, the directional antenna. After we download the firmware, we want to upload it into the Lightbeam M5 antenna. In order to do so, we need to connect the Lightbeam to your computer. So what I did is I basically connect the yellow Ethernet cable to my computer's Ethernet port and I set my computer to a static IP address. I'm going to show you how I did this in the next following steps. So let's set up the firmware inside of the transmitter part where the Ethernet is going to be. Um, again, I take the LAN wire, the yellow one, and I'm just going to connect it to the PC right here, the Mac, doesn't matter. Uh, I'm just going to connect it to a computer. The next thing you want to do is turn off your Wi-Fi um, and uh, change your network preference. So this is how you do it on a Mac. Mm, let's see, so go to Ethernet and then you want to configure your uh, IP address to manual and it's going to be 192 
subnet mass pi. So next, you want to go to um, connect to the, the directional antenna, and to go to it, you type 192.168.1.1. Point twenty. Now this is the default uh, IP address to connect to it. However, it won't connect uh, under this situation because I changed it to one hundred and fifty. So I'm going to type in one hundred and fifty. Uh, it'll say, "Hey, you're connecting to a non-secure location." Um, add exception, and let's connect to it. Now here's your username. Um, your username is UBNT and the password is also UBNT, however I've changed it already. Alright, so now we're at the main page. Um, the first time when you're here, go to systems and then update your firmware by clicking on the browse button and find uh, the the firmware that you downloaded after you browse it then you can click update and it'll update it so after your firmware is updated uh, now you can start uh, setting up the directional antennas the first thing is to set it to access points um, and this is the one this is the host this is the one that's going to connect to your router that has internet access uh, so after that, uh, I enabled it by for WDS. Next, I gave it a name. I call it UBNT uppercase H O M E home. <clears throat> the channel width is forty megahertz, and I just basically uh, set the frequency to auto. You can pick the frequency; not a big deal. The last thing I haven't done yet is set up wireless security. So I'm going to set up wireless security, uh, and then I'm going to type in the key, um, and then I'm going to click the change button. So after you finish setting up wireless, you want to go to network, and um, your network mode is bridge, because you're bridging two locations together, and uh, I just set up a static IP address. You remember I changed it from .192.168.1.20. I changed this one to dot one fifty. The mask is two five five two five five two five five point zero, and the gateway IP is one dot one. So I have all these simple stuff right there. After you've uh, set up everything the way you like it, then you can click on apply. One more thing is to make sure that uh, AirMax is enabled, and then you just click on. You see this blue bar right here, no matter which tab you go to, this blue bar shows up right there. Now you go and apply all of these settings. So this one is done. I'm going to close it out and I'm going to connect the second directional antenna. So if I've set up the host antenna, um, next thing I want to do is just go all the way and disconnect Ethernet for the host. Toss it to the side for now. And this right here is the client side. As you can see, a client is on, power is on. And I'm just going to connect this to the computer for right now. So just like the host uh, antenna, the client antenna, initially the IP address is 192.168. Oops. 1.20. However, if I go there, I can't get there because again, I've changed the IP address. So I'm going to change the IP address to, I changed the IP address to 160. So let's connect to 160. <clears throat> By the way, this uh, only happens in Firefox. I think if you go with Safari, this uh, doesn't pop up. But if it does on Chrome or whatever, just add. Uh, just say it's safe and uh, keep on moving forward. And again, the username is UBNT, however my password should be UBNT initially, but I have changed it. All right, so now I'm here. So on this 
uh, side, um, the wireless mode I want to be station. And then I want to uh, click on, I want to find my SSID, I want to find the host SSID. So if I click on select, by the way the host is on right now, that's why it can scan, it can find it. I select it and click on select. Oh, and also I want to, sorry, after I select it, I also want it to lock to VP. So again, it's the same thing like before, uh, it autos uh, between 20 to 40 megahertz. And now I want to set up my wireless security. So type in the same password you set up on the host. Click on change. Now I go to network. And again, you want to be bridge. And I set up my IP address as 192.168.1.160. The net mask, <clears throat> subnet mask is 255.255.255.0, and again, the gateway IP is uh, 192.168.1.1. After you've done these two things, oh, and don't forget before you do all of this, um, remember to go to systems and update your firmware on the client side as well. But after you've got that done, and you have wireless set up, you have network set up, just apply and you're done. So before I move forward, let's uh, config this computer back correctly. I'm going to move from manual back to using DHCP uh, for my Ethernet, apply, enable Wi Fi since they had it on and the Ethernet cable connected. So I'm just going to do that for them. All right, so the computer's back to normal. Okay, so let's disconnect the client uh, directional antenna and I am just connecting back the Ethernet cable to my to this computer um, and right there is the router. So this is the host with the inter internet signal. All that I'm going to do is connect the host antenna straight to the router and I don't have to do any settings in the router at all after that's done on my client side uh, I'm connecting it to its own router and again this is a traveler uh, small little mini traveler router that's where the internet goes to receive internet. Connect that over here. And now the internet is beaming from the host router to that antenna, that antenna to this antenna, and it's going broadcasting through this uh, client router right now. So I'm going to move this over to the cabin um, and uh, and see if I can get signal. So right now I'm at the cabin and same setup this is the client side. Um, I'm having the antenna pointing straight at the house uh, that's a quarter mile away through a couple walls so it's probably uh, close to more like maybe even half a mile distance at the end and I have um, power to it and as you can see right here okay we can see that it has connectivity all three lights are up and my um, router says that green light right there means that it has internet access so here we go um, I am connected to the router. I'm going to go YouTube real quick. And as you can see, it loads up pretty fast. So this uh, bridge network is uh, working pretty well.